हेलो गाइस वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेवियर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो हेलो एवरीवन नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम सम नंबर 34 दिस इज द लास्ट पार्ट फ्रॉम दिस एक्सरसाइज 11.7 फॉर द प्रीवियस वन प्लीज चेक द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स द लिंक विल बी देयर सो हियर इन सम नंबर 34 फाइंड द कोऑर्डिनेट्स ऑफ द ऑर्थोसेंटर ऑफ द ट्रायंगल हुज वर्टिसेस आर हियर Minus one three, second one here two minus one, and the third one here zero zero. Now, what is orthocenter? Orthocenter means the intersecting point of the altitudes. Okay, so that means first, if you draw a triangle in this way, suppose here A is zero zero, second one here B is minus one three, and third one here C that is here two minus one. So as AD is perpendicular. then again here bc is the perpendicular on ac okay so this be perpendicular on ac here ad is perpendicular on ac so this point this point is the orthocenter okay and you have to find out the coordinate of that one so as here ad perpendicular bc so you know that here the slope of ad okay suppose the slope of ad is m1 and the slope of bc that is here m2 that equal to here minus 1 clear again the slope of be suppose this one is m3 and the slope of ac that one equal to m4 it's also minus 1 clear now first here i am going to find out the slope of bc okay slope of bc so write down here slope of bc that one equal to here m2 so here it's 2 uh, sorry it's minus 1 not 2 minus 1 minus 3 here 2 plus 1 so that one equal to you can write down minus 4 by 3 now next here slope of ac slope of ac that one equal to here m4 so ac equal to here it's minus 1 minus 0 and then 2 minus 0 So that will be here minus half. So now you can easily find out the slope of AD. Slope of AD that one equal to here M1. So M1 equal to minus one by its M2. M2 means here minus four by three. So it will be here minus minus cancel out three by four. Next here you have to find out slope of BE that one equal to here M3. so it will be here minus 1 by here m4 that means here minus half so it will be here 2 by 1 that one equal to 2 clear so that means here slope of be equal to 2 slope of ad equal to 3 by 4 now as here ad so the equation of the altitude ad passing through the point a0 a00 passing through the point a00 and also here the slope equal to 3 by 4 so that means here y minus 0 that one equal to 3 by 4 x minus 0 so that will be here 4 y that one equal to here 3 x or you can write down y equal to 3 by 4 x okay that is 1 that is the equation of ad now the here the next one next one be the equation of be passing through the point here the point b that is minus 1 3 so write down here the point b minus 1 3 and here the slope be that were equal to here 2 that means here y minus 3 then here 2 into x plus 1 so you can write down this one as y equal to here 2x plus 2 plus 3 okay y equal to 2x plus 2 plus 3 that means here y equal to 2x plus 5. That is equation number two. Now here equation number one. That means here BE and AD are intersect that point. That is the orthocenter. So here you have to find out just the intersecting point. So as here y equal to 3 by 4x. So write down here y equal to 3 by 4x in equation number two, and that will be here it's 2x plus 5. So here 3x equal to here 8x. Plus 20. So from that one minus 5x equal to 20. That imply here x equal to minus 4. So 
So as here x equal to minus 4, then y equal to here minus 3. So here the coordinate of the orthocenter that is minus 4 and minus 3. Okay, now move on to the next sum. So here in sum number 35, okay, find the coordinates of the circumcenter of the triangle whose vertices are here a b c suppose here a is 1 2 b here 3 minus 4 and the next one here it's 5 minus 6 and here the center suppose this one is o okay and you have to find out the sir, the coordinate of o okay so first let here the coordinate of o is x y clear so that means here if you join o a o b and o c all are the radius of the same circle that means here o a is equal to o b equal to o c okay it's clear so that means you can write down also here o a square is equal to o b square equal to o c square so now as the coordinate of o is x y so definitely here o a square will be you can write down x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square then o b square equal to here o a square o b square equal to here x minus 3 whole square plus here y plus 4 whole square and next one o c square equal to here x minus 5 whole square plus here y plus 6 whole square then you can write down here according to the problem these two are equal so here x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square that one equal to here x minus 3 whole square plus y plus 4 whole square okay so that means here x square minus 2x plus 1 y square here minus 4y plus 4 then again x square minus 6x plus 9 then here y square plus 8y plus 16 so here x square x square cancel out y square y square cancel out that means here you can write down minus 2x minus 4y plus 5 that one equal to here minus 6x plus 8y and it's 25 so this will be here minus 2x plus 6x which is 4x then here it will be here 12y and then minus 20 that one equal to 0 so now if you divide it by 4 so x minus 3y minus 5 that one equal to 0 that is equation number 1 now here also ob is equal to oc so again you can write down here x minus 3 whole square plus y plus 4 whole square that one equal to here x minus 5 whole square plus y plus 6 whole square so x square then here minus 6x plus 9 y square plus 8y and here 16 x square minus 10x plus 25 y square plus 12y plus 36 x square y square x square y square cancel out so here you can write down minus 6x plus 10x so it will be here 4x plus 8y minus 12y so minus 4y then here 9 plus 16 it's 25 that means here it's also cancel out okay and the last one here it's 36 so minus 36 that one equal to 0 here so now if you divide it by 4 so x minus y minus 9 that one equal to 0 okay so that means here x minus 3y that one equal to 5 here x minus y that one equal to 9 so it's minus plus minus so it's cancel out minus 2y that one equal to here minus 4 so y equal to here 2 okay so as here y equal to 2 that means now you have to find out x so x equal to here 9 plus 2 that one equal to 11 so here the coordinate is 11 2 okay as your answer now next sum number 36 so here find the in center of the triangle formed by the line here y minus 15 that one equal to 0 second one here 3x plus 4y that one equal to 0 and third one here 12y minus 5x that one equal to 0 so suppose this one is the triangle so here a b c as here a b equal to this one b c equal to this one 
and consider AC equal to this one. Okay, so that means first here, if you find out the solution between AB and BC, then that will be the coordinate of B. Okay, now next one, if you find out the solution of BC and AC, that will be the coordinate of C. So as here, first you find out the solution of AB and BC. So as here y equal to 15, then from BC here 3x plus 4 into 15, that one equal to 0. So that means here 3x equal to minus 60, then x equal to here minus 20. So that means the coordinate of B equal to minus 20 and 15. Clear? Okay. Now, as here AB, AB and AC. So that means here the intersecting point is A. So as here y equal to 15, then from AC 12 into 15 minus 5x, that one equal to 0. So here 12 into 15, that one equal to here 5x. 5 cancel out this one 3. So that means here 36. So x equal to 36. That means here the point A. Okay. Here the point A is 36, 15. Now the last one point C. So as here point C is the intersecting of BC and AB. Okay. Sorry, BC and AC. So as here BC equal to 3x plus 4y. Okay. That one equal to 0. And AC equal to here minus 5x plus 12y. That one equal to 0. So if you multiply 3 with the first one, it will be here 9x plus 12y. That one equal to 0. Here minus 5x plus 12y. That one equal to here 0. Clear? So that means here it's plus minus minus. So it's uh, sorry, this one not uh, this one cancel out. So now here 9 and 5, it's 14x that one equal to 0. That means here x equal to 0. So as x equal to 0, then definitely y equal to also 0. So the coordinate of c is 0, 0. So now as you know all the vertex of this triangle, so the next thing here you have to find out the length of each and every side. Suppose here A is the length of AC. So here A equal to you can write down root over 36 whole square plus 15 whole square. And that will be here 39. And here B is the distance between B and C. So it will be a root over 20 square plus 15 square. That will equal to here 25. And here C is the distance between AB and that one equal to here 56. Now next thing here you have to find out the in center. So there will be a formula to find out the in center here the formula first you have to write down the formula here so a x1 plus b x2 plus c x3 divided by a plus b plus c comma then here a y1 then b y2 and then here c y3 divided by a plus b plus c so that is the coordinate formula to find out the coordinate of the in center so here you can write down this one as 39 then here into as here x1 so you can write down this one as minus 20 okay clear then here next one here 25 into 36 and then here 56 into 0 divided by here 39 plus 25 plus 56 comma the next one here 39 into 15 then here 25 into 15 okay and the last one here again 56 into 0 divided by here 39 plus 25 plus 56 okay so as here 39 so 39 into 20 it's 780 so write down here minus 780 the next one here 25 into 36 it's 900 and then here 39 plus 25 plus 56 it's 120 comma here also 39 into here 15 it's 585 then here 25 okay 25 into 15 it's 375 then 120 so first one here 900 900 minus 780 it's 120 that means 1 and next one here 585 plus 375 that is 960 960 by 120 it's 8 so your answer is 18 as the coordinate now some number 37 that one is the last one 
for this video so guys if you like my video please please share this video and please subscribe my channel so here in sum number 37 find the circumcenter of the triangle formed by the lines so here the first one is 3x minus y plus 3 that one equal to 0 second one here 3x plus 4y plus 3 that one equal to 0 and third one here x plus 3y plus 11 that one equal to 0 so first here you have to find out the vertices of the triangle that means here first you find out all the vertices so you know how to find out the vertices first here you have to solve the first equation with the second equation so whenever you find whenever you want to solve or whenever you're going to solve the first equation with the second equation then here the vertices suppose this one is a that is minus 1 0 so minus 1 0 is the solution of first two equation now here the next one the first one and the third one okay the first one and the third one so suppose this one is b and it's minus 2 3 minus 2 minus 3 and now the last one here second one and the third one it's c that one equal to here 7 minus 6 okay so that means here a b c are the vertices of the triangle now you have to find out the circumcenter of that triangle clear so first let the circumcenter of that triangle is suppose p h k okay so p h k is the coordinate of the circumcenter of that triangle now you know that circumcenter is the mid one so definitely here distance between distance between each and every vertices from the circumcenter will be equal okay so that means here you can write down here a p square is equal to bp square is equal to here cp square okay so as here first you find out ap so ap means here h plus 1 whole square and then here plus k square that is ap square next year bp square equal to here h plus 2 whole square then here k plus 3 whole square and last one here cp square equal to here h minus 7 whole square and then here k plus 6 whole square okay i hope it's clear now here as ap square is equal to bp square so you can write down h plus 1 whole square plus k square equal to h plus 2 whole square plus k plus 3 whole square okay so that means here h square plus 2h plus 1 here k square is equal to a square plus here 2 into 2 so 4 h plus 4 then k square here it's 6 k plus 9 so k square k square a square a square cancel out so 2 h it's minus 2 h then here it's 9 and 4 is 13 so it will be here minus 12 so minus 6 k and then minus 12 that one equal to here 0 divide by minus 2 so h plus 3k then here plus 6 that one equal to 0 as the first equation now the next one here bp square is equal to with cp square that means here you can write down bp square so it will be a h square plus 4 sorry 4h 4 4h 4 plus 4 then here k square plus 6k plus 9 that one equal to here h square minus 14h plus 49 then here k square then here it's 12k and then here 36 okay so now as we have h square and k square cancel out from the both side so here 4h and 14h it's 18h then here 6k and 12k that will be here minus minus 6k and as here in the left hand side you have 9 plus 4 is 14 right hand side you have 49 plus 36 so 85 so 85 minus 13 that equal to 72 so write down here minus 72 that one equal to 0 so if you divide it by 2 so it's 9h minus 3k and here minus 72 by 2 that one equal to you know that 36 so write down here 36 that one equal to 0 now again divide it by 3 so it's 3h minus k 
minus 12 that one equal to 0 okay so that means here k equal to you can write down 3h minus 12 so now put down the value of k in equation number 1 so as here h plus 3 into 3h minus 12 plus 6 that one equal to 0 here h plus here 9h that one equal to here minus 6 and here plus 36 so that means here 10 h equal to 30 so from that one h equal to here it's a uh, 3 so as here h equal to 3 then k equal to here 3 into 3 minus 12 that one equal to here minus 3 okay so here the coordinate is 3 minus 3 that is your answer